Well, major storm is approaching the Grand Valley, and city officials have been working all day to make sure drivers stay safe through the night and into the morning. Correct Sides, Adrian Thomas is standing by live at the Grand Junction Street Systems headquarters with the latest. Adrian, what can you tell us? That's right, Logan. I am live at the Grand Junction Street Systems headquarters where I'm starting to see a little bit of flurries from this evening's Arctic cold front. The trucks behind me were already out today treating some of the streets in our area, but the street systems manager says that the bulk of the work will have to be done this evening when temperatures drop below freezing. The plows are attached and salt spreaders filled as the Grand Junction Street Systems team prepares for a busy night. This is the first significant blast of winter weather to hit the Grand Valley this season. City officials aren't taking any chances. One of the main things for us is uh, people going home from work and people going into work the next morning. We want to make sure and try to be out ahead of that traffic, uh, put down some product. Uh, we'll be using some of the ice slicer that's right behind me. As the first winter storm creeps up on the Grand Valley, these trucks with the city of Grand Junction are ready to go, and they will start salting the roads as early as Tuesday afternoon. Most areas treated prior to the storm are bridges and hills. Normally, we do the pre stuff, would you be using the magnesium chloride? We're going to go to those steep hills, the overpasses, the ones that uh, when the colder temperatures, they freeze up first and the quickest, and that kind of helps them. Uh, we always want to try to stay ahead of the storm. Darren Starr says the most important work will be treating roads everywhere overnight when the temperatures drop into the teens. But he says his team is ready for storms bigger than this one. With a smaller storm like this, being preseason like this right now, I've got four trucks ready to go as we stand here. Uh, and we'll probably go up to six. I don't know that we'll go to the whole eight for something like this. Now, weather can vary immensely from community to community across the Western Slope. So head on over to westernslopenow.com and download the KREX5 mobile app to stay up to date on the latest weather and traffic conditions throughout this evening. First on the Western Slope and live at the Grand Junction Street Systems headquarters, I'm Adrian Thomas with KREX5 News. Logan? Adrian, thank you very much.